Hi, this is Tomasz from Geekseller. In this video I wanted to show you how to create variations of your products and group them on Walmart through the Geekseller system. There are two ways to do that depending on how many products you need to group. If you need to group more than 5 SKUs, then you can jump straight to the third chapter of this video to see the method. If you are grouping up to 5 SKUs, you can use simple method of manual creation which in this case might be faster than adding variants to the CSV or XLS file. What you have to do in this case is basically create five variants manually and then add group ID and variant attributes that you want to use. So let's say that I want to create a group of four socks from which two are black and two are white and they come with two different sizes. First, I need to create a base SQ through product tab. Here I need to select this option, saying that I'm adding a product not sold on Walmart. I input only the required data for the sake of presentation, but you can add as much data as you want. Then click Save without export to Walmart. Once you have it, and you know that your other variants will not be much different than your base SKU, you can click Duplicate to create exactly the same product with different SKU. So in our example, I have to click it three times. This can save some time with manual creation of each variant. However, if the difference between data of variants and base SKU is significant, it may be faster to create them one by one anyway. So we now have four SKUs that we want to group. As you may notice, I already changed the image and titles on the white variants because they were duplicates of the base black SKU. Now to group these products, select one of them and click on the category tab. You need to add variant group ID first. It should be unique made up combination of numbers and letters without spaces. So let's click input here let's say A123. After adding it, you will be able to select one or multiple variant attributes. You need to pick at least one. To select more than one, simply hold Control button and click. So in this example, we will use color and clothing size as variant attributes. After you pick them, it is obligatory to find and and add selected attributes in the section below. So here we have a color and here we have a clothing size. It is 13 to 15. If you will not add it, you will receive an error and the product will not be accepted by Walmart. Additionally, you can add swatch images to your variants here. Swatches should not be larger than 50 by 50 pixels and preferably they should be color tiles rather than product images. The most important thing is to add swatch variant attribute as it is on the variant attributes names list. So lower case and no spaces in some of them. You can also mark one of your SKUs as primary variant. To make it pop up first, once the customer click on your listing. After you are confident that everything is correct, click save and do exactly the same steps for your other listings, adding the same group ID and variant attributes. So now we have four variant listings assigned to group A123. Now all I have to do is to check these listings and send them to Walmart through bulk action dropdown. After a few minutes after submission, I can check their status in export statuses tab to see if the fit was successful. Once the fit is successful, your products should be listed on the marketplace within an hour or so. The listing we just created will looks, look exactly like this on Walmart marketplace. We got here two color variants with swatches and two sizes.
Okay, so now let's move to our second method of creating variants in bulk for larger groups. To create a group of more than a 5 or even a 100 SKUs, it is best to use the CSV or XLS file. It requires some work on the spreadsheet, but it is the most efficient way for larger batches of products. So to do this, it is recommended to create a base SKU on the dashboard as well. Go to Products and click on Create New Product. Input the required data, but this time together with a group ID and selection of variant attributes. So for this example, we will pick color and clothing size as well. As I mentioned in the previous section, group ID is a made up combination of numbers and letters. And you can pick multiple variants by holding control button. Remember to add values to the variant attributes you have selected. So in this case, we have a color black and clothing size small. After this is done, click Save without export to Walmart. This SKU will act as a framework of your group in the Excel spreadsheet. To export it to a file, select it, hover to bulk action and click one of the options for download. For the sake of this presentation, I will use basic file which consists only of fields that Walmart require and basic variants. If you want to add more data and a specific variant attribute, you want to pick advanced file. It consists of all possible attributes and might seem unreadable at first, but you can always remove the unnecessary columns from the file. In the file, I first determine how many variants I want to add to the group. So in this case, let's add six sizes of black t-shirt. I basically copy paste the whole line by clicking on its number and using Ctrl C, Ctrl V combination until I have six SKUs. Each line here represents a product, so obviously I need to change the SKU, UPC and any data that is different from the base SKU. In this case we will not change images or swatch images because all variants will have the same color but if you need to do that you can paste here the URL to your image or upload them from your computer once you load the file into the dashboard if you prefer that way. Once you have your unique SKUs you need to find variant attributes you selected and change them accordingly to create variants. Here we have a color. It's black for all variants, so we won't change it. But as you can see, we are missing the clothing size here. That's not a big deal, as I can simply add it as a column, remembering to use the exact spelling and capitalization as it is in the variant attribute name column. So we need to use this right here. Clothing size. So I can now add my sizes here. Just S, M, L, XL, 2XL, and 3XL. After you save the file and it is ready, you can upload it through products, import from CSV, XLS. You have to pick a file from your desktop and upload it. Make sure that the mapping of data is correct here. Here we have a category mapping. Okay, everything looks good, so let's confirm it. 
As you can see, we have five new products and one product that will be updated. This is our base SQ that we used as a framework. Here we also have an alert that the UPCs we are using are invalid because I used some fake UPCs. Our system have a way to detect it as well as many other errors which will cause issues during submission to Walmart. I will simply ignore it to complete the import. The import was complete. And we now have a group of six products ready to export to Walmart. To do this, select the listings, hover to bulk action dropdown, and click export to Walmart. If the submission was successful, the group will look like this on Walmart. We have here black t-shirt with six different sizes. There is also one very important aspect of grouping items on Walmart. There might be situation where you want to add new variants to your group. If it is not absolutely necessary, we strongly advise to upload all items from your group all at once during the first submission. In many cases, product variants uploaded after the first submission are not assigned to group and are listed as standalone products. In such case, only Walmart support can fix it and it may take even a couple of weeks to group items correctly on the website. And that sums up this video. If you have any additional questions regarding the product groups or our system in general, please contact our support at geekseller.com.